Versus in the Bible which say the same. I am the Alpha and the Omega, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. And also uh, God is uh, eternal and God is spirit. Now let me come uh, to the question, who is the Creator? What is the per who is the person of the Creator? And now we can say we come to a limit about the laws of nature of information. Um, it is not possible to speak about or to conclude who the sender is. And now we need the Bible, and the Bible tells us uh, in the beginning uh, was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was God. To him all things were made, without him was nothing made that has been made. And if you read further in uh, chapter 1 uh, uh, in the Gospel of John, then we see it is Jesus Christ. Or we can say God the Father used his Son, Jesus, to create uh, all living systems and also the universe. Let me come to another uh, conclusion. Since information is a non-material fundamental entity and cannot originate from material entities, and since information also originates from man, we conclude man's nature must have a non-material component. That's what we call uh, the soul or spirit. So you see, by that way we have refuted the materialism. In many ideas, as, uh, people say um, human being is only matter. It's not correct. We have also a non-material component. We also can refute the Big Bang. Since information is a non-material entity, we conclude that the assumption the universe is uh, composed solely of mass and energy is false. And now let me come to the seventh uh, conclusion, which is very, very important in our time. Since biological information originates only from an intelligent sender, and all theories and chemical and biological evolution require that information must originate solely from mass and energy alone. So by that way, we have refuted the idea of evolution. Many people in our world believe in evolution. I, hope, I think 99% or so. But we can analyze the systems and we can make this very important conclusion. It's important to know that at the time of Darwin, he didn't know that living systems are based on information. Now we are living in an information uh, age and we have a better understanding what information is and we have a better understanding um, uh, what, uh, what living is, is what, what's based on living systems. So we can say by using the laws of nature about information, we have refuted the idea of evolution and we came to the conclusion that what the Bible says is correct. If you want to have more examples and more understanding about <coughs> this lecture, we have this book, uh, in the beginning was information. We have it meanwhile in a few languages. We have it in, in Russian language, Polish language, in English, in Chinese, and also in Japanese. We have a few copies here. And we have another book uh, that, we, uh, that is a present for you from Germany. Um, everybody can get this uh, uh, small book. And this small book is also written more about the person of Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ is our creator, of course, the conclusion is right that we say, therefore, it is necessary to believe in him. And it's also written in this small book, how to come to Jesus. 
And if someone wants to understand or want to do uh, uh, to go this way, we can speak later on in the other room. I think we have the possibility to discuss in another room also. Thank you so much for your intention.